Well, in other news, Nigeria is on a journey to ensure optimal train services at its, as it is the, in the case, rather, in developed nations of the world. Although there are many challenges encountered in the process, there is a conscious effort to ensure that trains become a major means of transportation. In this report, Ayobide Ajegwe takes a look at the major issues confronting the nation in maximizing the use of the railway system and decongesting Nigerian roads. Algeria, South Africa, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Kenya, and Senegal top the list of some of the few African countries with vibrant railroad transport system. Though Nigeria started ahead of some of them, the country is miles off the required standard in patronage and facilities. In my quest to know what has been and what could have been, I took a journey to the Mubalaji Johnson station situated in Ibutimeta, Lagos. I was surprised that the terminal was near empty despite arriving here one hour to departure time. Some of the passengers shared their experience. My experience so far has been fantastic. Uh, especially because uh, the timing is always perfect. Uh, you know exactly when you, you are going to leave here and you know exactly where you're going to get to your destination. So It's easy. It's relatively easy and very comfortable compared to public transport. Yeah. Com or compared to the road in general. This thing can be traced to the, to the where you collect cash. If there is no cash, there won't be, there won't be such of things. I think the awareness is still very low. For instance, you take some uh, uh, boats, uh, these cab services, they don't even know where some of the train stations are. The viral video of his staff advising intending passengers not to purchase tickets from the counter on the premises that they will be sorted in the coaches poses some questions which took me to the office of the MD Nigeria Railway Commission in search for answers. Because if you are buying your ticket, nobody can ask you to come and bribe him. So you have people who don't want to buy a ticket, who want to get it at a cheaper rate. That's where this problem is. But I believe with the e-ticketing, that rush at the station, that because we are all buying tickets at the stations, will reduce. You can now buy your ticket at the comfort of your home. The Abuja Kaduna train attack where hundreds of passengers traveling northward were kidnapped last year is still fresh in the mind of Nigerians. This raises security concerns on the safety of train users. We still have some security put in place to give the comfort to our team in the passengers and the customers that use that train. Uh, we have ensured that personnel of the security, uh, uh, security personnel in Nigeria are embedded in our system whether passenger or goods train, and we also have them at the station, where we have deployed a, a little of technology for us to manage and monitor uh, real time the location of our, state, our, of our trains. One major talking point is the sustainability of Nigerian's railway system, which has been agreed to thrive in a viable business model with an adaptive mode of operation that is better suited to the customer's needs. The roads to the train station, like Lagos one is better, but Abelkuta and Ibadan, like the roads to the train station need to be more accessible because it makes it harder for you to want to go to the train station because you're almost spending the same amount you're going to spend on trip to Lagos to get to the train station. So I think accessibility to the train station should be better. When the Minister of Transport visited Lagos in September 2023, he promised to ensure that the train system is effectively and efficiently managed to compete with other developed nations of the world. Hopefully, its immediate and future plans will ensure growth. Lower road congestion, fewer accidents, reduced pollution, a hall that is to be enjoyed in a rehabilitated and rejuvenated railway system, backed by technology and innovation. Ayomidia J, TVC News, Lagos.